Ford's two-legged robot walk packages to your door. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this guy. It's a bit scary. The but, future uh, of self-driving vehicle delivery. The future of Ford and transportation. Digit One is this guy's name. He looks kind of friendly. I like the color. They gave him like a cool sea foam. It's weird because I spoke about this color in a previous episode about the guitar that I wanted that was seafoam green. That's the color of this robot. He sees the obstacle. He's going to walk around it. He's walking near humans. He's relatively friendly. They didn't give him a head. It, it looks like his head is some sort of LiDAR um, navigation tool like self-driving cars happen to have. Is this real? This is not CG. That's a real guy. Yeah. That is cool. The car company for it. Um, they're the ones who developed it. Apparently, it can hold 40 pounds. Right. But obviously, it has to be um, in a car. And then Oh, he gives out. props. He also gives props. Yeah. Did you see so that part? So it can do that too. He's got like a handshake after he gives you the package. So did he show up in the car by himself? That's an autonomous car that he gets out of? Yeah, hopefully that would be the future. The wow. car would be autonomous Autonomous well. car, autonomous delivery guy. It's incredible, guys. What do we need humans for anyway? Just, I mean, just to receive the packages. That's pretty much it. To mm -hmm. enjoy the proceeds here. Because that guy doesn't get a paycheck. I mean, you just pay for the production. And, and how long, I mean, does he, you know, that's a weird thought. Like, how long does that guy work for you for? How, before he's out of commission? Can you get, do you get 50 years out of a guy like that? Mm. Of course, I'm talking about a robot right now. Anyway, yeah. that's cool. That's very cool. I like that. And they did a good job of somehow making him seem friendly because in a way that Boston Dynamics certainly has not. And no, maybe, it's, it's pretty freaky. Yeah, maybe it's that he's on two legs. It's his movements. Maybe it's the color too. The color helps, but I think it's also the slower, more smooth-looking movements. The Boston Dynamics stuff, it's jerky. It's kind of, it seems energetic. It seems full of adrenaline. Yeah, robotic like a, adrenaline like a oh god it seems too potent so i don't even know what their latest one is this one seems a bit bad but see even the legs are a little more like that episode of black mirror you know the one yeah the um killer robot the killer robot episode yeah. i can't remember the name of that one but yeah they just it the boston dynamics head. one just have a serious military vibe to them they do like, yeah marching towards you they just don't seem all that friendly. That's a tough thing to do. You remember when we had the Sony robot in here? It was like, man, this thing is so friendly. Mm -hmm. And it's like, how do you achieve that? It's, uh, it's really interesting how we as humans perceive friendliness in the form of robotics. It's a lot to do with the, the movements, the way the motors are tuned. And like, he just has a really natural flow to him, the, the uh, Ibo, Sony robot dog. And there's something appealing about that where... It acts as a better substitute for the real thing, whereas I feel like the Boston Dynamics ones, they just they seem like some new thing. They seem to be operating at some different pace. They seem like too electric almost. Yeah, geared towards like the army or something. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's a strong military vibe. Cool story, Will. All right.